Hi, I'm Lisa with another WPI Technique. Today we're going to talk about setting up the REMS robot, which is used for high throughput screening of tier measurements. Packed in the carton with your REMS robot, these are the components you'll need to set up your system. Be sure to set all the other components aside for later use. Here's the power cable. The RS-232 cable that will connect the auto sampler to the computer which controls it. The vertical arm and the attachment which will hold the electrode. The tray and its support posts. The well plate holder and a cable guide with a magnetic base to support the electrode cable during the robotic arm movement. The electrode you specified for either a 24 well plate or a 96 well plate. The interface unit that will join the sensing electrode to the data acquisition board which is already installed in the system's computer. To begin setup, place the rims with the right side facing you. During shipment, the horizontal arm is held in place with a locking screw. Locate and remove the black plastic plug on the right side panel. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the locking screw. Insert the arm locking screw into its storage location on the rear panel. If you ever need to repack the unit for shipping or storage, be sure to secure the horizontal arm again with this locking screw. Replace the plastic plug on the side panel. To attach the vertical arm, first unmount the cover plate from the front of the horizontal arm by removing two of its three screws. Use your finger, press on the control rod within the horizontal arm, and move it outward. The white plastic plug and control rod will move forward slightly, allowing you to remove it and the control rod from the horizontal arm. Position the vertical arm onto the horizontal slider and pull it all the way forward. The vertical arm's electrode holder bracket should be on your right. With the supplied screws, secure the vertical arm of the horizontal slider. It may be necessary to move the slider back and forth slightly to align the mounting holes with the openings on the horizontal arm. Reinsert the control rod as far as it will go. You may need to rotate it back and forth slightly to get it to pass through the gearing and motor drive socket in the horizontal slider. Reinsert the plastic plug. Reattach the cover plate to the front of the horizontal arm. Any liquid spills, such as those caused by the rinsing station and the overflowing of the well plate, may be contained within the tray. First, screw the tray support posts into place. Place the tray on top of the support post, making sure it fits securely in the tray mounting brackets and that the drain outlet is located on the left rear of the tray. The well plate holder secures the well plate. Orient the well plate holder so that the end of the rinsing station is nearest to the front panel of the rims. To install the electrode holder, slide it into place on the electrode holder bracket and secure it with the supplied thumb screw. To install the dummy electrode, slide it onto the two pegs on the electrode holder. The dummy is used when you're programming the movement of the arm and the sensor between the wells and the cleaning station to avoid accidental damage to the real electrode. The REMS interface unit will be used later when the real electrode is installed. To record the data from the electrode, the electrode cable plugs into one end of the REMS interface unit. The 50-pin connector on the cable included with the interface unit plugs into the port on the data acquisition board, which is installed in the computer. Be sure the computer is powered off before making this connection. To control the action of the robotic arm, the included RS-232 cable connects the REMS robot to the RS-232 port on the computer. Now it's time to check your user manual and begin programming the REMS robot to run the tests you need. Now the REMS robot is set up and connected to the computer. If you have any questions about setting up your system, give us a call.